to rotate our axes to eliminate this xy term of this conic, uh, we need to go through uh, quite a few conversions. First of all, note that uh, our conic in standard form is something of the form ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero. And we have this exact exact form here. So a is negative five, b is eight, c is one, and so on. The first thing we need to do is uh, use our conversion that involves the angle theta, the angle of rotation. We have that cotangent of two theta is equal to a minus c over b. So if we plug that in here, a is negative five, minus c is one, and b is eight. So this is negative six over eight, which is negative three fourths. Now, uh, we have cotangent of two theta equals negative three fourths. When we're trying to write the uh, the new equation in the in the new x prime y prime coordinate system, we don't actually need to know what the angle theta is. Uh, we just need to get this, and then we'll need to find the sine and the cosine of theta. So uh, there's a couple things to do. The first is we're going to uh, kind of draw where the angle two theta is, uh, because we have a, a negative number for our cotangent, and this conversion only works when two theta is between zero and 180 degrees, we know that we're going to be in the second quadrant here, since cotangent is negative in the second quadrant. So we have uh, some some angle here, and if I draw a, a triangle, I can draw any triangle here that with that angle of 2 theta, this is 2 theta here, I know cotangent is the x over the y, and so I can write that as a negative 3 over four. Note that the three has to be negative since I'm in the second quadrant. The four has to be positive. Using those two side lengths, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to get this side length here. That's the classic three, four, five uh, triple, tri Pythagorean triple, so I don't have to do much work there. Now that I have that, um, all of the conversions for uh, from the A, B, C, D to the A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, uh, those conversions all use the sine of theta and the cosine of theta. And so we need a couple of, uh, of identities here. Uh, sine of an angle theta, and this just comes directly from, this is actually the half angle identity, but using a theta here. You get sine of theta equals plus or minus the square root of one half times one minus cosine of two theta. And we have cosine of theta equals plus or minus the square root of one half times one plus the cosine of two theta. Now the plus or minus in each of these uh, is simply determined by which quadrant we're in, whether the sine is, is positive or negative, and similarly for the cosine. Because two theta is in the second quadrant, I know theta is in the first quadrant. Um, and that means that both sine and cosine will be positive. So we'll be using the positive uh, in front of each of these square roots. And then cosine of two theta is, I can get from this, this triangle here. So cosine of two theta here, the cosine is gonna be the adjacent over the hypotenuse or x over r. So that's negative three fifths, okay? Cosine of two theta equals negative three fifths. And so now I can go in and find each of these. So I have the square root of one half times one minus negative three fifths, which is one plus three fifths. And here I have the square root of one half times one uh, plus negative three fifths, so minus three fifths. And then of course I can simplify each of these. So one plus three fifths is eight fifths times a half is four fifths. So this is the square root of four fifths. And here one minus three fifths is two fifths times one half is one fifth. So this is the square root of one fifth. Now I have sine of theta and cosine of theta. I'm ready to go through and find all of my new uh, coefficients. 
So a prime, the conversion is a times cosine squared of theta uh, plus b times cosine theta sine theta plus c sine squared theta. And so now I can go through and plug in everything that I know. I have a is negative 5. So I have negative 5 times cosine of theta is the square root of 1 fifth. And then that's squared. And then I have plus b, so plus 8, times the cosine of theta is root 1 fifth. And the sine of theta is the square root of 4 fifths. And then plus c, c is 1, times the sine of theta squared. So that's the square root of 4 fifths squared. And then I can simplify this. So this is negative 5 times, this becomes just 1 fifth. So negative 5 times 1 fifth is negative 1. Plus, this is 8 times these two square roots. That's the square root of 4 over 25 which is 8 times 2 fifths. And then plus, this is 1 times just 4 fifths, which is 4 fifths. Well, that's negative 1 plus 16 fifths plus 4 fifths, uh, which is 3. So I now have a prime equals 3. OK, there's no b prime term because we're eliminating the xy uh, term. But there is a c prime. c prime is, the formula there is a sine squared of theta uh, minus b cosine theta sine theta. And then plus c times the cosine squared of theta. And so now again, we plug everything in. a is negative 5. I'm going to go ahead and now skip a step. Uh, while I do each of these things. So sine squared is this, I'm squaring this square root, so that's 4 fifths. And then minus b is 8. Cosine times sine, I'm multiplying these together. I did that up here, and that was 2 fifths. And then plus c, which is 1, times cosine squared, which is just 1 fifth. So now I have here negative 5 times 4 fifths, that's negative 4, minus, this is 16 fifths, plus 1 fifth. Okay, and that's of course negative 4 uh, minus 15 fifths, or minus 3, so that's negative 7. So C prime is negative 7. Okay, our next uh, conversion is d prime. d prime is d times uh, cosine of theta plus e times sine of theta. Okay, now d is up here. d is negative 3. So negative 3. Cosine of theta is the square root of 1 fifth. Uh, plus e, e is 2, times sine of theta, which is the square root of 4 fifths. Okay. And we can, of course, simplify this. Is, this is negative 3 over the square root of 5, because the square root of 1 is 1, times negative 3 is negative 3. And then plus 2 times root 4 is 2, so 2 times 2 is 4, over the square root of 5. So this is just 1 over root 5 for d prime. And then e prime, the conversion is negative d sine of theta plus e cosine of theta. And uh, so I've got negative d, d was negative 3, so that's just 3. Sine of theta is root 4 fifths. Okay, and then uh, plus e, which is 2, and then cosine theta is root 1 fifth. And then again, simplify. That's is 3 times 2 is 6 over root 5 plus 2 over root 5. 
which is 8 over root 5. And that's our e prime. And then finally, of course, the easiest of all is that f prime is equal to f. There's no change there. And f here was 2, so f prime is also 2. And so now our formula, uh, we go through it and we just plug these things in. So we've got a prime, which is 3, times x prime squared, uh, and then plus c prime, which is negative 7, so minus 7, uh, y prime squared, and then d prime, 1 over root 5, times x prime, plus e prime, which is 8 over root 5, times y prime, plus f prime, which is 2, equals 0. And that's the, that's the new equation in our rotated x prime, y prime coordinate system.